Welcome to Altium Designer Navigating the PCB. In this module, we will learn how to navigate while viewing the PCB in both 2D and 3D modes. Now that we have set up the basic preferences for the PCB, we should learn how to navigate around in the PCB view. Just like with the schematic view, there are shortcut keys that are very helpful and aid in the efficiency of operations. Some of the same shortcuts exist in both the schematic and PCB. For example, using the VF, or V and D key sequences, like so, expands to view the PC board or the entire document. The Shortcuts tab at the bottom right will open up the window showing all of the currently available shortcuts. The right mouse button allows for panning. The mouse wheel performs a number of movements depending on what keys are or are not held down. With no keys, it pans up and down. Holding the Shift key causes it to pan right and left. Holding the Control key zooms in and out, centered on the mouse pointer. There are a number of other options available from the View pull-down menu. One that I use often is the View Area to zoom into a focused area like this. Again, note that there are underlined letters in the menus that act as a reminder that these are shortcut key definitions. So just type V and then A, and now you can draw the box to zoom in. Another shortcut that I really enjoy using is the Jump to Component. It's a great feature that allows you to go directly to a known component by using its reference designator. Hitting the J key followed by C opens up the Component Designator window where we can enter the reference designator for the component we want to jump to. Let's try C3. We now jump to and zoom in on C3. Hovering the mouse over a track or a device pin causes the net associated with the track or pin to highlight. This can be helpful in tracing and understanding the routing for a particular net. Using the cross-select mode we discussed in the schematic module allows for selecting components in either the PCB or in the schematic and having them highlighted in both. Altium Designer provides 3D viewing and editing capacity in the PCB. To switch between the 2D and 3D viewing mode, hit the 3 key. To go back to 2D, hit the 2 key. In 3D viewing mode, the same mouse pan zoom options are available with one notable addition. If you hold the shift key down long enough, a 3D icon shows up in the PCB. You can now rotate the view using the right mouse button, clicking on the arrows or within the 3D icon and holding the button down and moving the mouse we can now rotate the PCB to look at it from different perspectives. Hitting the zero key sets the view to normal, and nine rotates at 90 degrees. Hitting the V and then B key flips the board so that you are looking at it from the other side. This works, by the way, both in 2D and 3D viewing modes and shows the perspective of viewing the board from the either side in the current viewing mode. Another feature I use all the time is the single layer viewing mode that we looked at in the preferences. To enable this, hold the shift key down and click on the S key. This will toggle through the available modes as we have seen, turning off or graying out the remaining layers that are not active. The active layer is determined by which of the layer tabs at the bottom of the window is highlighted. Clicking on the shift S key now, we can click on the various tabs to bring up to the front in full view the selected layer and graying out the others. Hitting Shift S again removes more of the non active layers until we are left with just the single active layer. Continuing to click on the Shift S brings us to the full all layer viewing mode. I will use this mode to aid in track placement as it allows me to better focus on the current routing layer but still see others. Using the single layer feature allows for placement of vias with an understanding of the impact on the other layers in the PC board. Notice with the current PCB having polygons, it can be hard to see because they cover so much. Let's fix that. Hitting the L key opens up the View Configuration window. If we want to hide the polygons, we could click on the Show Hide tab and select Hidden for the polygons. Now they're still in the design, they're just not showing up visibly. While we're here, we should explore the View Configuration window more fully, as it provides a lot of features. Looking at the Board Layers and Colors tab, we can enable or disable visibility for any of the existing layers by unchecking the box or rechecking it. This can be a nice way to remove clutter from the working view and help with placement and routing. 
The mechanical layers have the Only Show Enabled Mechanical Layers box checked. If we wanted to add a currently not enabled or visible mechanical layer, we would uncheck this box and then click on the Enable and Show for the desired mechanical layers to become visible. One thing that may be needed for your company standards would be to rename a layer. Clicking on Mechanical Layer Name, and if needed, slowly re-click it until it highlights, allows that name to be edited. One more thing, if during your PCB session when modifying the view configuration, you get to a point where you can't see the PCB, click on one of the standard view configurations on the left to get the layers back invisible. I've had more than one customer support call because they couldn't see features or layers in their PCB that by picking a standard view just fixed the problem. Under the View Options tab, you will see what the current viewing mode is set for the single layer mode and an important setting, Convert Special Strings. Ensure that this is checked so that when a string is placed that uses a parameter, it will show up as the parameter's value and not the parameter. There are a number of other settings and tabs that we will not look at, but I would encourage you to explore them.